What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So we are going to continue our topic about detailing and drafting. So last video, we have learned how to create a callout view of our section. So this time around, so let us learn the basic way of uh, placing text in our drafting view to illustrate uh, standard roofing details. Okay, and then we are going to place tags and place uh, text in a plan view to label doors, windows, rooms, and walls. And then we are also going to modify the tags. So let's get it on. So the first thing that we will be doing is let's add text to our detail view. So this is our detail view. It's a drafting view. So when you say drafting view, it's just a 2D drawing. So anything that you do on your drafting view, it will not affect your 3D model and vice versa because drafting view is just a 2D drawing for detailing. Okay, so let's do this. So how to create text in Revit? So to create text, you just need to click that icon from the quick access toolbar. So that's the text. Or you can also type TX as a shortcut. Text can also be found here on the annotate tab. And then you can see the text there. So that's the one. Okay, just click that one and then here on our type selector, so these are the different types of text that we can use, different sizes. For this one, I'm going to use 2.0 mm Arial and then you can also specify here a leader line. So as you can see, there's no leader line as the default settings and then there's also one segment and then there's also two segments and then there's also a curved leader line and then you can also specify here the justification or the placement of your uh, leader line on the left side and on the right side so you can specify that on the top left middle left or bottom left top right middle right and bottom right so you can specify there and then you can also specify here the alignment of your text okay so for this one so let's say i'm gonna use here uh two segments and i'm gonna place a text here so for the two segments you need to pick three points one two and then three okay and then you can now type the text so let's say i'm gonna type here Cast iron dome and then click outside and then modify. You can still select the text, you can adjust that like that. You can still change the justification, let's say align center like that, and then you can change that to let's say uh, align left. And then you can change the location of the lead, leader line. So let's say leader at top left. There you go. And then you can adjust it like that. Just tidying up your uh, drawing. Now let's say for example, you also want to add an arrow here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click the text. I'm going to make it first a middle align and align center like that. And then I'm going to add a leader line to the right side, this one. You click that and then let me just put it on the leader at top right position and then let us now place it here there you go okay all right so you can just tidy up your text all right so let me just put another text here so i'm going to select the text and i'm going to use this time okay so i'll still use two segments and then i'm gonna point somewhere here like that align okay and then let me now type the text all right so this is oops where's the text combined flashing clamp gravel Okay, let me just copy the one on the exercise. So gravel, stop, and adjustable, extension, 
its sleeve okay and then just click outside right and then I'll just select your modify and then I can just adjust this one so I'll just put it here let me click that and then uh, make that middle align and align center something like that and then for the position of my leader line adjust again there you go click that move down add another leader line to the right side and then I want to point it here and then let me just adjust it like that there you go okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add tags and text to our model view so right now this is a drafting view so let's go to our model view so I'm gonna open the ground floor okay and then let us put some uh, text here so let's say I'm going to put a tag okay so I want to put a tag here on my wall so to do that from your quick access toolbar again you can select just beside your text you can see there tag by category so you can click that and then after that we are going to place our cursor over the wall here and then as you can see there's now the tag so if you're going to place a tag so make sure there's a tag loaded for that particular model element such as wall so to check that if there's a loaded tag so you can select your loaded tags that one and then look for that so that's a wall so looks for wall so we will have here a loaded tag which is m wall tag so if you don't have a loaded tag just load the family okay and then after that you can just select from here so once you load you can click the drop down arrow and then select the family that you have loaded so for this one i'll just use the default m wall tag and then i'll just select okay and then i'll just over my pointer here if you don't want to have a leader line you can just uncheck the leader there okay but i want to have a leader line so i'm gonna place it here there you go so there's now my tag so let's say i want to tag also do the, the wall here so let me click that and then i'm gonna tag this wall here so that's tw2 okay and another way of tagging your your model elements instead of clicking one by one on the model element you can actually use another option to tag uh, multiple model elements so i'm going to select modify here to terminate the tool and i'm going to go to the annotate tab and then from the annotate tab just beside your tag by category tag by category is this one it's just the same this one and then this one is just the same shortcut is tg just beside you can see there the tool tag all not tag so it adds tags to multiple elements in one step so i'm gonna select this one okay and then what i want to do i want to tag all the doors and windows okay so i'm going to tick door tags and window tags okay and then you can also specify here if you want to put a leader line but for this one i'll just leave it unchecked okay so you just need to select the door tags and window tags because we want to tag our windows and tags okay and then i'll just select here okay and there you go so you see there's now the tag on your doors there's tag on your windows like that right so using tag all okay so now the next thing that I, that i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna tag the room here so let me tag that so where's my tag by category okay so this is a room okay so we need to use a room tag so let's go to the architecture let's select here tag room this one and there you go and then let us place it here that's it okay so if you want to tag all the rooms here so you just need to click inside the room and again you can also use tag all okay you can use the tag all so let's try that one out so let's go to the annotate tag all let's select room tags and then select here okay 
And there you go. So you now have a text. Let me just hide the pattern of my floor. I don't want to see these grainy patterns on my floor. It's a concrete. So I'm going to open the visibility graphic overrides. I'm going to type VV to open this uh, window. And then I'll go to floors, that one. And then I'll just uncheck the visibility of the pattern. Foreground, uncheck, and then OK. Okay, there you go. So it's now hidden. And there you go. So we now have the tags on our rooms. And let us play some uh, text. So let us put some text. Because we are doing some detailing. So I'm going to use again the text here. And I'm going to use uh, one segment. I only need one segment. So I'm going to pick here. I'm going to pick here. All right. So I'm going to type here full, full height. Full height, double masonry wall with uh, complete fire seal. Oops. And then just click outside. There you go. And let us select this. Make that align right. And then top right leader line. something like that okay let's move that there you go all right now so let's say for example you want to modify the tags so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to select one wall tag i'm going to select this one and then i'm going to right click and then i'm going to select here select all instances visible in view to select all the wall tags. So as you can see here, I selected all the wall tags. So I'm going to change that. Instead of M wall tag, I'm going to select here uh, 12 mm. So let's use this one to modify. There you go. So it's just, it's just the same, right? The M wall tag and then 12 mm. So how about let's use 8 mm. So let me click this, right click. Um, Select all instances, visible in view. So let's select here 8 mm. There you go. Oh, so the the boundary or the diamond shape or the box is a little smaller. So I'll just use the other type here. What's this? Uh, MO background. Okay, so I'll just use this one. Okay, so that's how you modify your tags. Okay, so it's not that difficult to create tags or tags in your model. Okay, so just make sure you have the appropriate family for your project. So that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.